friends, I am Nimisha Robert Bartha and I am the Vice President of Mission League of St. Mary's Knanaya Catholic Parish of Houston, Texas. Today, I would like to talk about the importance of having self-confidence in our life. Self-confidence is the key to success. It's believing in yourself. Those people who have self-confidence at work, at school, and in their daily life always appear on the top of the world. Everything seems to go right for these people. And they always seem to present themselves as calm, collected, and successful in everything they do. Self-confident people understand the impact of believing in themselves and relying on their abilities. Their confidence ultimately creates opportunities for success. And with each, uh, each other's success, another self-confidence building block is put into place. You can become the person you want to be if you have self-confidence. Have you ever heard the saying, if you believe it, you can achieve it? Now, I will tell you a story of two brains. Two brains were laying side by side on the fertile soil. soil. The first brain said, I want to grow up. I want to put down roots deep into the ground and sprout from the ground. I dream to blossom in the delicate buds and proclaim the coming of spring. I want to feel the warm rays of the sun and the dewdrops on my petal. The grain grew up and became a beautiful flower. The second grain said, I'm afraid if I put down my roots into the ground, I don't know what they'll face down there. If I grow tender stems, they can be damaged by the wind. If I grow flowers, they may be destructed. So I'd rather wait for safer time. Thus, the second grain was waiting until the chicken that passed by ate it. This story tells us that if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. And the lack of self-confidence will lead you to self-destruction. So, so start believing in yourself. Act on that belief. You will start building self-confidence in your life and become successful. As a Christian, self-confidence is not only good, it's absolutely essential to being who I am and fulfilling my purpose in life. God actually wants you to be self-confident. In the Holy Bible, we see that David was a confident warrior. His sense of self-confidence and the faithful response to God's call on his life gave him the courage to take on Goliath with just one slingshot and five smooth stones. The best way to have self-confidence is to learn to see yourself as God sees you. Believe what he says about you and experience what his direct approval is for you. Ask Jesus each of these questions below. Believe that he's talking to you through your heart and your mind. Jesus, what do you really like about me today? Jesus, what experience have you given me throughout my life to prepare for my calling? Jesus, who do you say I am? And Jesus, how do you give me extra confidence today? Dear friends, during this Christmas season, let us pray to infant Jesus to make us more self-confident. And let us get the intercession of our little flower, St. Teresa, for molding us into fulfill our purpose in life. Thank you all so much and Merry Christmas in advance.